Hello, Aquarians. Welcome. This is your November 2021 general reading. Bit of a different format than regularly, because normally I record one reading per week, and these readings contain um, or include <clears throat> all 12 star signs. And uh, for November, I just felt I wanted to do things differently, um, so I recorded 12 videos one for each star sign, because I thought it allows me to go a little bit deeper, spend a little bit more time per star sign, um, and therefore sort of probably give you a bit more than I normally would. Um, very likely, uh, because it's very difficult to find the time to record 12 videos, if that makes sense, per month, um, I will likely go back to um, the regular format, which is weekly readings. The only thing that would persuade me uh, from that and maybe continue make me continue doing this is if the majority of, of uh, viewers all of a sudden say this is much better I like that much better mister then I would continue doing it this way so yeah I will probably actually do a poll at the end of the year anyway um, see where we're going because um, this idea just came to me and normally when, when new ideas come to me I feel like you know I should actually do them because I always say that sounds weird, but I only work here. I work, I work for spirit, and sort of this came up, so I thought, uh, let's do it. So, how this works then today, Aquarians, is we will divide the reading into certain areas, um, which means we will look at the so-called overall energy for the month of November. Just have a look what the guides actually ask you to look at in November 2021. Before we then move on to emotions which could be uh, emotional stuff that, that sits somewhere, that needs to probably leave, or that needs to be assessed, or it's about love. What is love? Right? So we'll see. We're not there yet. And then outgoing, uh, or, the, or the last area we're looking at for this video, is um, opportunities with regards to um, what pays your bills. So it's, it's more work-related, if that makes sense. Right? So let's just have a look. Let's just start this off. And let's have a look what we got for the month of November. Now, please, Aquarians, remember that November is the 11th month of the year. And 11 is a master number. Master numbers are literally double-digit numbers. Um, and there is obviously from 11 to 99. In numerology, only 11 and 22 are master numbers, because only these would fit inside a calendar. That makes sense. And a uh, rule of thumb is that... Um, 11th is the stronger number, all other numbers lose a little bit of energy as they come along. And yet, the idea about a master number is that it is still stronger as any other number. And since the number for this month is 11, if that makes sense, right? Um, anything the guides us, I will say here to you, Aquarians, will likely be therefore amplified. Right? So yeah, all good. You got the moose, the blue heron, and the wolverine. Again, you got the moose, the blue heron, and the wolverine. Now the one in the middle is the heron. And because it is flanked by two other animal guides, we will look into the message of the blue heron a little deeper, or just um, pay more attention to it, because that's really what the guides want you to look at for the month of November. Number one, you have the moose to begin with because the moose is not an animal that enjoys doing stuff super fast. So the incoming energy for Aquarians for the month of November is to idle lower, right? What stresses you out? What's going on? Is there too much going on? Especially, you know, uh, towards Christmas, everybody sort of goes, yeah, let's just do this. You shouldn't do that, um, Aquarians. Your energy tells you that it is really important for you to actually not be chased by, again, the way the guides give it to me, by stupid ideas that other people may have. If that makes sense, right? That doesn't mean you won't have stupid ideas yourself. I mean, they're going around. <laughs> I have a stupid idea every five minutes. The point I'm trying to make here, or the guides are trying to make here, and I'm just here to tell you, 
is that your energy in November is super important to, uh, uh, to not be stressed out. And I also get the feeling of anxiety. So it could lead to a ton of anxiety if you feel like there's just too much going on and you can't you can't rest and and also i'm getting that they're doing this which means that <laughs> the left there's a saying in germany the linke hand weiß nicht was die rechte hand macht the, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand does there's a feeling of if you are with people spending your life with people could be work right um that are not communicating well you're in the wrong place right it's really important. Communication is so important to your Aquarians in November. And somehow all you're being asked is to throttle back on everything because your main energy here is the blue heron. And the blue heron is a bird, water bird, that stands in the water all day, literally. <laughs> and when the fish comes, he goes like, thank you. So opportunities with regards to um, how to conduct your life um aquarians will come to you when you're calmer you see a lot more opportunities to make changes when you actually throttle against the word throttle back you have the wolverine uh, the animal that sort of climbs a tree um well, what the guys are basically saying to you is you're still evolving so you might actually be in a place where you feel like this is all still pretty new to me or, or I'm not quite sure where I'm going. It's not important that you, that you figure out where you're going. It's important that you, that you pace yourself right. That is what is asked of you in November 2021 is to pace yourself right. It is no, you're no good to anyone, including yourself. If you come home super tired or you just never get a moment of peace. It's not worth it. That is the over energy for Aquarians for the months of November. And I should say that I have no idea what that means. But ever, 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 ever since I started thinking about recording Aquarius, um, my guides sing Notorious by Doreen Doreen. Um, <coughs> great song, but I haven't, haven't heard it in 20 years. So I haven't got a notion what the lyrics are about. All I remember is, mm, let's do it again, or something like this. Um, it plays in my head, you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe. And it's not because notorious and aquarius could be similar words, because they're bloody not. Um, there, is a, there is a reason why my guides sing notorious to me. So I'm not associated with the Ren Ren, right? Notorious. But somehow this song is playing in my head. So... Uh, please, Aquarians, feel free to listen to the song and see if you can figure out what it's trying to tell you. <laughs> okay? <coughs> so, where were we? Oh, yeah. Now we're going into the area of emotions, possibly love. We'll see where we're going. This is your general reading for the month of November 2021. Bloody hell, you have another heron. <laughs> in, even in this part of the reading, you have the coyote, the elephant and the heron. To me, what I'm getting from the guides is that this is actually directed towards people that either are in a relationship, are, sounds weird, in between relationships. But this is all about people um, who are loving someone else. It seems to me that nothing really is um, the way it should be. Sorry, this is just the way the guides give it to me for Aquarians this month. So, so this part clearly is not necessarily for the. Well, it's not. Not 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 just not not just not necessarily. It isn't. Sorry, <laughs> just being corrected. <coughs> this is about relationships and about making sure they are what they're supposed to be. I don't know yet what that means. So let's have a look. You have the coyote, the elephant, and the heron. The elephant is the one in the middle, so we pay the most attention to that energy. The coyote is the incoming energy with regards to relationships. And the, the um, coyote is telling you that relationships really only work when you realize that not just within the relationship, you're good enough. 
right? You don't, oh, it sounds horrible when the guides talk like this, because it always sounds a bit weird. You don't need anyone. People have to deserve you first, right? So look at yourself individually and see how you're being treated inside a relationship or how you want to be treated inside a relationship. And also realize that um, if your energy is low-ish or you're not talking, you're not speaking highly of yourself, you won't manifest anyone who speaks highly of yourself. Because if you don't speak highly of, of yourself, then very likely you won't take compliments very well. So um won't work, won't will it? <laughs> so <coughs> that's number one. Then you have the elephant. The elephant obviously is all about wisdom, because obviously they're very wise uh, animals. But it's also about strength. Obviously, you wouldn't mess with an elephant. But it's also about stubbornness. Believe it or not, Aquarians. <laughs> Don't hold on to things just because they were great once and maybe someone is busy, um, so you haven't had a chance of the proper talk for a while and you hope that towards the end of the year things get easier. It's all bollocks. Right? That's how I get it. It's all bollocks. <laughs> Um, and also you deserve better. Let's put it this way. You deserve better. You deserve a relationship and therefore ought to be in a relationship where you know what's what and where you also, this is nothing that I'm getting strongly, is where you can take it to another level, right? And my feeling is that this is also really, uh, um, <laughs> geared uh, towards the, the, the people that probably aren't 18, if that makes sense. This is, this is more geared towards people who have been around the block a little bit. You know, welcome to the club. It's just, it's, just, it's not really judgment. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 54. So when I think of relationships, I think of all the relationships I've been through and kind of think like bloody hell, right? So you, you, you make decisions uh, because you sort of look at everything. And that's what I'm getting here, is, is that this is really about reflecting on Sounds just the way it's, it's just weird, but it's just the way they 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 make it sound. Um, also, look into relationships you once had, if that makes sense, and really reflect on the good that was in different relationships. What you have learned and what you can bring to a relationship, and then and ultimately, because you have the elephant as your middle animal guide, what I'm getting is. This is for people who probably um, are still not enti entirely sure that the relationships can be sustained or that they're actually going somewhere. And um, it is really important to be loyal to yourself and say like, you know, I, I have a vision of my own and this vision should be met. So in other words, you know, uh, make sure you manifest really highly. Because you have the heron as the outgoing energy. And the heron is the water bird that stands on one leg and takes the fish as it comes his way. Ultimately, that means that you're not, you don't have to chase anything. You don't also have to make decisions straight away. If you know what you deserve, because that's sort of ultimately uh, the thing uh, with the elephant here. Once you sort of know what you deserve, it can come your way, right? It's, it's, okay. There's always give and take with everything. Um, and, and yet my feeling is with regards to your love life kind of thing is it's pointless if you have to tell people off and you have to tell them don't treat me that way. Obviously they're not your people, right? Okay. That was that. Going into the last area, which is finances, opportunities with regards to Work. <laughs> you like this, Aquarius. You have the bighorn sheep and the badger. The bighorn sheep is a sheep that hangs on a cliff on two legs and doesn't fall, which we call a money cart. Even though money is not a spiritual currency, it just means that no matter what happens to you in your life with regards to your future and finances, you will just be fine. The only downside with regards to opportunities at this point in time is that your outgoing energy is the energy of the badger. And the badger oftentimes is accused of bringing TB to the cows when it has been proven so many times that he isn't. So um, make sure 
that when you with regards to wherever it is your work um, make sure people do not speak badly of you if they got something to say they should come up to you right so encourage this and 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 um therefore you know things go go both ways the moment something is like this is a misunderstanding they don't really understand me here seek clarification quarians that's all we got if that makes sense right like i said different format feels weird for me to record it that way I haven't done that in a, in, in a long time and um yeah that's it um let me know what you're thinking the more i can read in the in the comment in the comment section um the more i can probably tailor my future readings to you because this is a free service right and i've been doing this free service since 2017 and um sometimes it's really it's really pissy because you know um i i work my ass off to record this for you i ask people to share this all the time hardly anyone does Right, and I have uh, a little more than a hundred people uh, watching, and um, I know that I'm good at what I'm doing, and I don't understand why they why why I'm just not cracking um, a viewerships here. So um, you know, um, yeah, um, just wanted to mention this too that sometimes you know um, it is a lot of work, but I'm doing it from the from the the bottom of my heart and from the goodness of my heart. And um, would love to do whatever it is that helps you the most, but um, you need to communicate it to me, right? It's because I record Aquarius last, this is the last video um, that I record, and obviously only Aquarians will watch it. I just thought I, I put my little rant uh, um, into that section. <laughs> anyway, please like, subscribe and share. See you soon. Bye-bye.